Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video. And today I have another of my five novels about series. Today I have five books to tell you about which are all about the theatre. I haven't made one of these videos for a while, um, but on this channel I have two sort of ongoing series of like short videos, just about five books. One is five Victorian novels about, where I talk about five Victorian novels about a particular theme. And then I have also done some videos before, which are just five novels about, where I talk about contemporary novels about a particular theme. And today um, I have quite a few books I wanted to mention, which are all about the theatre. When I started like putting this list together, I realised that I had six books, um, not five, but five of them were historical and five of them were like about theatres as places and then one of them was sort of about theatre as a thing so I thought I would just do all six and we'll keep the last as an honourable mention. So I have five books, five main books to talk about which are all about theatre um, and all works of historical fiction, all of which I really love. So we'll start off with A Theatre of Marvels by Leanne Dillsworth. This is a book I read really recently that I really enjoyed. It's set in the Victorian period and it's about Zilla who is a young black British actress um, who is part of a stage show at um, a theatre, a music hall, um, and this book kind of looks at her coming of age story, I suppose, in many ways, um, and how her kind of views on life um, and her thoughts about herself, her own identity and the people around her change. It's fantastic, um, and I feel like the way it looks at the complexities of theatre and like the things Zilla values in her work, but also the things that maybe she hasn't thought about very much, um, I feel like all of that was explored really, really well in here. It's a fantastic book. I really really loved the ending um, and the unexpected directions that things in this book took um, and I just think it's really really worth a read. Another book which looks at Victorian theatre and music halls is Tipping the Velvet by Sarah Waters. This book begins in Whitstable and we're following a young girl who develops a crush on a music hall performer and she ends up travelling with her to London um, to kind of get involved in the music hall scene and everything goes on from there. This is actually another coming of age story. I do love a good historical fiction coming of age story set in the 19th century. Um, and this one also looks quite a lot at theatre and music halls and actually quite like Theatre of Marvels looks both at like the kind of glamour and um, fun of theatre and musical culture but also at like the less pleasant more kind of exploitative side as well. Um, I feel like Tipping the Velvet is really really fantastic I would highly recommend it. I love Sarah Waters very very much and I feel like this is the place to start with her books um, in my opinion. Like I think her books are fantastic and I think this is probably the one to start with because um, it's so good very very character led really really fun and excellent um fantastic theme so yeah i highly recommend to be in the velvet especially if you like a book about the theater while we're still sticking with the victorian period i also wanted to mention the illusions by liz Hyder. this is liz Hyder's new book which is coming out in june and it's just fantastic and it is all about kind of magicians and showmanship and various people who are kind of brought together by preparing this big theatre show, this grand magic show. Um, so it's all about illusion and magic tricks rather than like theatre theatre, but a lot of it takes place in a theatre and there's a lot about like theatrical culture. Um, and Liz Hyder in her historical note at the end kind of talks about this book being like her love letter to the theatre and it does feel like that at times and I feel like the way it looks at the theatre and theatricality and kind of Victorian theatre culture um, and how that encompasses music and tricks um, as well as acting and stuff and I just thought it was really really good. So I highly recommend The Illusions, it's fantastic and again a really fun book to read if you enjoy reading books about theatre. The next book I wanted to mention is also set in the 19th century but this time in 19th century America and that is The Floating Theatre by Martha Conway. This is set in 1838 um, and it follows various characters chiefly focusing on one young woman who is part of the kind of theatrical troupe on board a floating theatre or a theatre boat effectively. So the main character May is a seamstress, she is the one kind of making the costumes and then everyone around her is kind of part of the theatre. This theatre boat basically spend their time moving from place to place um, and throwing performances on their boat and then because the boat spends a lot of time like cruising between um, the north and the south of the US um, at this point in time in the 1830s they end up becoming like effectively a stop on the Underground Railroad I suppose and helping runaway slaves get to the safety of the north. I read The Floating Theatre quite a few years ago now but I really really liked it and I'd highly recommend it. It looks at the theatre in a really interesting way as well as the examining themes of prejudice. The main character May is really really interesting and yeah it's just a fantastic book one I'd highly recommend. The next book I wanted to mention is The Whalebone Theatre by Joanna Quinn which was one of my favourite books 
books of last year. It's a really, really fantastic historical novel set from um, the 1910s, 1920s, I think, onto the 1940s. It is in many ways a World War II book. A lot of the book takes place in World War II, but it's also very much a theatre book um, in that it basically follows two generations of this family, the Seagrave family, and the second generation, one of the main characters, um, starts this theatre in the skeleton of a whale, hence the whalebone theatre. This theatre kind of brings her and her siblings great joy, and then we see what happens to their family when the Second World War starts. The whalebone theatre is fantastic, like I cannot recommend it enough, it is hugely moving, hugely powerful, um, and the way the book looks at theatre, both in terms of the whalebone theatre and other theatres that we see throughout the book it's just amazing um like there's a scene in the book where um some of the characters are in paris during the second world war and they go to see um the production of antigone which was put on during the second world war and this production of antigone this new translation of antigone was basically like challenging um nazi occupation but like as subtly as possible to avoid anyone being harmed and the scenes around that theater production and the kind of the role of theatre in Rebellion, um, it's fantastic too. So I highly recommend The Whalebone Theatre, it's fantastic, uh, but well worth your time, especially if you enjoy books about the theatre. So there we go, those are five novels about the theatre, um, and those five are all historical, so I felt like they fitted quite nicely together, but I also didn't want to make this video without talking about Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, which is one of my favourite books ever. And Station Eleven is an apocalyptic book which takes place kind of during and before and after um, a flu pandemic which wipes out a vast proportion of human life. But one of the various groups of people that Station Eleven follows is a group of people who 20 years after this apocalyptic event um, are travelling around North America performing Shakespeare to people in the face of the end of the world. And they're basically a travelling theatre company um, putting on Shakespeare because in the worst of times, what you need is theatre. Um, and it's fantastic. There's so much about Station Eleven that I love, but I feel like the theatre stuff and the Shakespeare stuff is excellent um, and is like a part of the many, 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 many reasons why I love Station Eleven. So I did want to mention this one here as well. So there we have it. Those are not five, but six fantastic novels about the theatre. Do let me know down in the comments if you have any recommendations for books about the theatre. I know I've got um, Ghost Light by Joseph O'Connor on my shelves, which I think is about the theatre, which I'm quite excited to read at some point in the future. But let me know if you have any other recommendations too. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back very soon with another bookish video.